Indeed so. But yeah, so it works though, doesn't it? I mean, it, it, as a location it works. Well, it kind of works, except until you start looking at the history of Russell Square. Okay. And then you realise this has got to be rubbish. Oh dear. Uh, because Russell Square wasn't, wasn't laid out until the early 1800s. Oh uh, really? But those houses are Georgian. Uh, early. early 1800s is Georgian, mate. Of course. <laughs> of course. Because he tries to make say that and it, Isaac Newton moved it into there. Well, it's, a, it's absolute nonsense. They weren't laid out. Let me, let me find the bit where he talks about the dates. I'm wondering whether it's his library. The one thing he does say is that the library is the key bit. So maybe the books are ancient, but the building isn't. And that might be his let out. Well, so Nightingale was waiting for me by the statue. Now, the statue oh, right, is right, actually Francis, Duke of Bedford. Yeah. Um, we're sitting by it right now. Welcome to the Folly, he said, the official home of English magic since 1775. So you're saying that's too early. What would have been there would have been um, Fields. Bed- no, Bedford House, a massive... Yeah, there's pictures of it on the internet, of, of etchings of it, a, a huge stately home would have been there that they knocked down to build this. Oh, wow, OK. And it wasn't open until the early 1800s. And it wasn't fashionable to live here until the 1850s or something like that. So that's a bit of a black mark against uh, well, Mr Ranovich. Well, I think he's just... He's, I, do you know what? He's another London fantasist like Ackroyd, where you've got some buildings, they look a bit historical, and then you can make up a story around them, and you don't bother looking on the internet as to whether the dates match or not, and you don't care. Okay. 